Hey, what's going on, y'all? Ugh, that sucked. That, um, that's, that fucking sucked. You know, Arkansas, you know, you guys kicked our ass. You know, you, you guys put a foot right up our ass. And there's no other really way, really no other way to put it. You know, you guys, you know, Ty Tyler Wilson picked apart our secondary. Um, <laughs> just, I mean, he he made, he just made our secondary look even. He he made him look stupid. You know, and he made our pass defense, which is already bad, you know, look even worse. It just and offensively we could we could get nothing going. You know. I mean, you know, the game started real well, you know, with with Dyer's long touchdown run and uh and even Frazier, you know, with his touchdown. I thought, okay, we might pull this out and yeah. <laughs> it was all downhill after Frazier's touchdown. But hey, in my opinion, I'd much rather lose a game like that than, you know, be up you know, by a good by a good lead and then blow it. And we were, you know, that was just that was just a shellacking right there. You guys took us behind the woodshed and just gave it to us. You know, and it sucks. You know, but you know, Auburn fans, you know, we knew going into the season we were probably going to take some, uh, we were probably going to have to take some shots on the chin. This is another one. You know, Clemson got us a few weeks ago. Now Arkansas got us. Uh, I mean, it's not fun. Not at all. But, hey, you know, not, nothing more you can do. Um, I was, and, and I'll tell you this, though. I was, believe it or not, I was actually kind of pleased with our defense. I know that sounds weird. And, you know, if you just look at the score, you see 38-14. Oh, wow, their defense sucks. What are you talking about? True. You know, I'm not, I don't think they played good. You know, I, I don't think they're, you know, they, they've not gotten to the point where I can call them good by any means. You know, they're not LSU or Alabama, um, who I think are far and away the two best defenses in college football, but that, that's, you know, that's sad for another video. But anyway, um, but like I said, I, slowly but surely I'm seeing improvement. You know, I, if uh, I, I maybe people will agree with me, maybe people won't, but I, I for one, I'm seeing improvement with this defense. Um, I know 38 points doesn't really reflect that, but at the same time, you know, offense, you know, gave our defense no help. I mean, no help. You know, interceptions, three and outs. It's just, I mean, not even the best defense in college football is gonna sustain for that long. You know. You can give us any, any. You can give us um, a defense full of all Americans, and they probably not are not gonna last that long. You know, if you have an offense that's going three and out, you know, practically every drive, you know, throwing picks, fumbling the ball, it's just, you know, penalties. Penalties are nothing that kills us. I mean, whether you whether or not you agree with all of them, personally, there were some questionable calls, but that's, you know, regardless, you know, they've killed drives, and you can't have that. You know, it kills momentum. And I'll tell you, you know, false starts. You know, false starts, holding. You know, come on. You know, false, false starts. I'll tell you, false starts are, are my opinion, the most annoying penalty. Now, I'll, I'll take a unnecessary roughness for a false start. The unnecessary roughness, yeah, okay, it, it's a 15 yard penalty, but it's at least showing that you're aggressive. It's at least showing that you're, you know, into the game. False start just shows lack of focus. And we did not have it, but that's not why we lost. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's just an all-out beating that we took. Um, but yeah, overall though, the defense. Um, I mean, the, Tyler Wilson did have his way with our secondary, but um, I like the way our D line. You know, Corey Lemonier, he's coming along very nicely, and uh, El Toro Freeman. You know, he he played a pretty good game from what I saw. Jermaine Whitehead. I think is going to be a pretty good corner for us in years to come. Um, but it, it's just Arkansas is a good offensive. They're a good offensive football team. I mean, there's really nothing you can say. I mean, hey, I mean they're a good offense. I mean, yes, our defense overall is still not what I would call good. 
but they made they, they made a lot of improvements from what I saw. All, Arkansas is a good offense. I mean, sometimes you're just not the better team. So Auburn fans are just we're just gonna have to accept that sometimes. I mean, you know, that's how it is. That's how football is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I mean, that sounds very cliche, but hey, you know, sometimes you go out there and you you win by a lot. Sometimes you get your ass kicked like we did. I mean. <laughs> This is how it is. That's how that's, you know, um, and you just have to move on. I mean, offense, and I hate to sound like this, but Schroeder is just, I think it's time for a quarterback change, personally. Um, I hate to say that this soon. Uh, well, it's really not soon, but I understand that he's never started before in the SEC, but he's, He's proven that he's not the guy for this offense. That's not to say that I don't think he's a good quarterback, because I do think with like a, like a Texas Tech type of spread offense, he might do better. But in this, in, in a Gus Malzahn type of offense, I, I don't think he's no. In Frazier, I've heard some Auburn fans, you know, criticizing Frazier. Yes, he threw those two interceptions, but you know, <laughs> he's a freaking true freshman, and that was on the road. He, I mean, Pat Dye threw seven picks against Tennessee in 1969. He turned out right for us. He turned out okay. You know, Frazier's going to grow. He's going to develop. And he's going to get better. He's only going to get better, guys. I mean, uh, having said that, I mean, yes, he did throw those two interceptions, but he ran the ball great. You know, he ran the ball great. Had a touchdown. Um, personally, I, I, I really think Frazier needs to start. If not, um, you know... If not uh, now, but if not now, soon, you know, it definitely does. Yes, he he does need to work on his throwing. Um, he, you know, he needs to not look down receivers like he does. You know, I, I noticed that in both of his picks, he really kind of stared down a receiver. But he he can run the ball very well, um, and our offense is just better with him in the game. I mean, that's a lot, that's obvious to see. But when he's in the game, our offense is so much better. You know, it's just. It gives that, you know, it, it gives an extra threat. When Trotter's in the game, it's just, I can tell, defenses do not respect him. It, it just, when Frazier's in, we're, we're a better offense, in my opinion. Um, that's really all I got. I mean, um, like I said, Arkansas, congrats to you, Arkansas fans who are out there. Um, congrats. You guys whooped us. Um, one thing is for sure, though, uh, I'll never stop repping the AU. Um, whether we win by 100 or lose by 100, I'll never stop repping the AU. Auburn born, Auburn bred, when I die, I'll be Auburn dead. I guarantee you that. Um, Tiger fans, hey, we just gotta, take, like I said, take this on the chin and uh, try and regroup, get ready for the Gators this week. But, you know, I, you know, I, think, uh, I think we can... Uh, Turn this around, I really do. But uh, war damn eagle, y'all. Tiger fans, stay strong. Peace.